Your bulls look healthy, but they're not growing. The problem isn't your feed. It's invisible mistakes happening every day. Most ranchers never see them until it's too late. Let's uncover the hidden errors that are silently killing your weight gain. Welcome, fellow cattle producers. If you've ever looked at your herd, at animals with great genetics on what you believe is good pasture, and wondered, why aren't they thriving? Why is my average daily gain so disappointing? Then you are in exactly the right place. Because today, we're not talking about the obvious. We're digging deeper into the subtle, almost invisible factors that can cost you hundreds or even thousands of pounds across your herd. Let's start with the most overlooked nutrient on the entire ranch. It's not protein, it's not energy, it's water. Now I know what you're thinking, my cattle have water, of course they do. But here's the critical question, is it the right water in the right amount at the right time? For every pound of dry feed an animal eats, it needs roughly half a gallon of water. But for every pound of weight it's supposed to gain, it needs nearly one gallon of water. Think about that. Water intake is directly linked to feed intake and weight gain. The first hidden error is providing poor quality or poorly accessible water. A dirty water trough full of algae and manure will reduce water consumption by up to 30%. That's a 30% drop in potential growth right there. Cattle are sensitive. They won't drink enough from a foul source. And what about temperature? In the summer, water that's too warm is unappealing. In the winter, ice cold water forces the animal to burn precious calories just to warm it up inside its body, calories that should be going to growth. Here's a practical step for you. Tomorrow, go look at your water troughs. Are they clean enough that you would take a drink from them? Is there enough space for at least 10% of your herd to drink at the same time without fighting for position? Fixing your water situation is the cheapest, fastest way to see a noticeable improvement in your cattle's performance. Now, let's move on to our second hidden error, an invisible thief that lives right inside your animals. I'm talking about subclinical parasites. We all know what a sick animal looks like. But subclinical means there are no obvious signs. The animal doesn't have severe diarrhea, it isn't coughing, it doesn't look critically ill, it just fails to thrive. Internal worms like Ostratagia and protozoa like Cixidia are masters of disguise. They set up shop in the gut and act like a silent tax on everything your cattle eat. They damage the intestinal lining, which means the animal can't absorb nutrients properly. They consume blood and protein, directly stealing the building blocks of muscle. And the worst part is that almost nobody knows the true extent of the problem in their herd. Many producers deworm on a fixed schedule, using the same product year after year. This can lead to parasite resistance, meaning your dewormer isn't even working anymore. You're spending money, but the invisible thieves are still there, stunting your growth rates. So how do you fight an enemy you can't see? You use science. A simple fecal egg count test done through your local vet costs very little, but it tells you exactly what kind of parasite load you're dealing with and if your current program is effective. You stop guessing and start making data-driven decisions. This is a game changer for both small herds and large operations. In a moment, I'll explain the myth that cost ranchers more money than almost any other single mistake. But first, think about this. Are you treating for parasites or are you just going through the motions? This brings us to hidden error number three, the mineral misconception. So many ranchers believe that putting out a salt block or a basic 12-12-12 mineral is enough. I'm here to tell you, in most cases, it is absolutely not. This is one of the most common and costly beliefs in the cattle industry. Your soil and the forages that grow on it are very likely deficient in specific, critical trace minerals, and these deficiencies are holding your cattle back. Let me give you just two examples, copper and selenium. 
Copper is essential for the enzymes that drive growth and fertility. Without enough copper, an animal simply cannot convert feed into muscle efficiently. It can also lead to a dull, faded coat and a weakened immune system. Selenium is the fuel for the immune system. A selenium-deficient calf is far more susceptible to things like pneumonia or scours. Its body is too busy fighting small infections to focus on growing. A simple salt block does not provide these crucial trace minerals in the right amounts or the right form. Your cattle need a high-quality, loose mineral program that is specifically formulated for the deficiencies in your geographic area. The minerals must be bioavailable, meaning the animal can actually absorb and use them. Yes, a good mineral program costs more than a cheap block of salt, but the return on investment in terms of increased weight gain, better conception rates, and healthier calves is often 10 to 1 or even higher. Stop thinking of minerals as a cost and start seeing them as an essential investment in your herd's genetic potential. Let's shift gears from nutrition to psychology. Yes, cattle psychology. Hidden error number four is ignoring social stress. Every herd has a pecking order. There are dominant cows and bulls, and there are subordinate ones. When resources are limited, the animals on the bottom of that order are the ones who suffer. The most common place we see this is at the feed bunk or hay ring. If there isn't enough space for everyone to eat peacefully, the more timid animals get pushed out. They wait their turn, and by the time they get there, the best feed is gone, or they get so little time they can't eat enough. This creates chronic stress. Stress releases a hormone called cortisol, Cortisol is the enemy of growth. It suppresses appetite, weakens the immune system, and tells the body to store fat instead of building muscle. You can be providing the best feed in the world, but if your management style is creating constant stress, a significant portion of your herd will never perform to their potential. Have you experienced this on your farm? Overcrowding, constant resorting of groups, introducing new animals without a proper adjustment period, these all create social chaos. The solution is simple in concept, provide more space. The rule of thumb is to have at least 24 to 30 inches of bunk space per head for mature cattle. Use more hay rings. When you create new groups, try to do it in a way that minimizes fighting. A calm, stable environment allows every animal, not just the dominant ones, to eat what it needs and grow. Finally, Let's talk about the biggest illusion on any ranch, the green pasture. Hidden error number five is confusing forage quantity with forage quality. You can look out over a field that is lush and green and think your cattle have it made, but that field could be what experts call a green desert. It looks good, but it's nutritionally empty. As grass and other forages mature, their protein and energy content plummet, while their indigestible fiber content skyrockets. A cow can eat until a rumen is completely full of this mature, high-fiber grass. She feels full, she stops eating, but she hasn't consumed nearly enough protein or energy to support optimal growth or milk production for her calf. She is working so hard just to digest the low-quality material that she has no resources left to put on weight. This is why cattle can actually lose condition on a field that looks perfectly fine to the untrained eye. Good cattlemen learn to read the grass. They manage their grazing to keep plants in a vegetative, high-nutrient state. They know when to rotate pastures and when to supplement with protein or energy, even when the grass is plentiful. Forage testing is an incredibly valuable tool that tells you exactly what your pasture is providing. Don't be fooled by the color green. Be a student of your grass, and you will unlock the final piece of the growth puzzle. So let's recap these hidden errors. Mismanaged water. Unseen internal parasites. Inadequate mineral programs. Social stress. And poor forage quality hiding in plain sight. Correcting these isn't about one giant expensive fix. It's about a change in mindset. It's about paying attention to the small details that together make a massive difference. It's the art and science of great animal husbandry. 
This journey of raising the best cattle we possibly can, it's one of continuous learning, and it's a journey we take together as a community. If this video gave you even one new idea to try on your ranch, then we've succeeded. To continue learning with us, please subscribe to the channel Biggest Bulls and Cow. When you subscribe, you become part of a community dedicated to responsible, intelligent, and profitable cattle ranching. And now I want to hear from you. Your experience is valuable. Tell us in the comments which one of these hidden errors surprised you the most, or share a hidden mistake you discovered on your own ranch. Your story could help someone else avoid that same problem. Finally, if you know another rancher, a student, or anyone who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Here, we are all here to grow together as better producers. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and let's keep learning.